One of the key systems that has been reworked in La Resistance is intelligence. Intel can now be generated from a wide variety of different sources and be used to see a whole host of information about other nations via the Intel ledger. You can bring up the Intel ledger by right-clicking on any nation and selecting the tab next to Diplomacy. There's a lot of new information you can see about the target nation dependent on the level of Intel across four distinct categories. Civilian, Army, Navy and Air Force. There are different ways to get intel for each category, but some are common to all of them. Some intel is always provided according to the ideology of the target country, with communist and fascist nations giving away less and democratic and non-aligned nations substantially more intel. All four categories can get their total intel multiplied by 25% through the intelligence agency upgrades, while the naval and civilian categories can benefit from the economy law of the target nation. A more liberal economy will yield more intel. Further intel can be provided by your allies, land, sea and air combats, intelligence networks set up by operatives and scout planes. Scout planes are a new type of aircraft being introduced with La Resistance, which can only carry out the new air recon mission. While carrying out air recon, scout planes will accumulate intelligence on every nation that has territory within the air zone they are assigned to. They can also spot the locations of ships and divisions precisely, giving you advance warning of your enemy's movements. Importantly, this can also be carried out whilst you are at peace, allowing you to build a clear picture of your opponent's positions before declaring war. As you increase your intel level on a particular nation, you will gradually be able to see more and more information about their economy and military in the intel ledger. This includes, but is not limited to, the exact numbers and types of divisions, ships and aircraft they possess, the size of their stockpiles and ongoing research. There are graphs here showing the impact of war on their economy, showing damage to factories, bombers and convoys over time. There is a huge amount of information here that will unlock as you pass through thresholds of intel. If you have a very high level, it will be impossible for your opponents to hide what they are planning. Having high intel, or more specifically having higher than your enemy has on you, will also impact combats between your two nations. On land, attack, defense and breakthrough values will be increased for the side with the greater intel, with higher bonuses for a larger disparity. Meanwhile, on the sea, Having higher intel will aid your fleets in spotting the enemy faster. On a similar theme to intelligence, in La Resistance we've also made some changes to reconnaissance. There are now four different recon companies that you can add to your division template, though you can only have one at a time. A recon company comprised of tanks will add substantially to your hardness and attack values, while a motorized company will provide more defense. You can also add Armoured Cars, a vehicle new for La Resistance that provides a large boost to the reconnaissance value of the division. Having a high recon value will give the division extra chances to re-roll tactics, allowing it to more easily counter those picked by your opponents. The higher recon value will also increase the amount of intelligence you gain from combat. Armoured Cars will also find uses in the new resistance system, which will be covered in another tutorial video, as well as in fighting in low supply regions like North Africa. 